Hi everyone and welcome back to question number five in this series about DC motors. In this question we have a series motor meaning that the field winding and the armature winding are connected in series and the motor is drawing 20 amps which is IA or IF because as I said both the field winding and the armature winding are connected in series at 110 volt. So the terminal voltage here is equal to 110 volt. This is the input input power running at 800 RPM. 800 RPM is your rated speed. We are given the armature and the field resistance as 0.1 and 0.05. We want to find the motor output power. So this is the first thing we want to find output power in horsepower and then b we want to find the torque developed the developed torque not the output torque so there is a difference between the two developed torque and output torque and we are giving the iron or the core and or the magnetic circuit and friction losses are 50 watt the two losses together is 50 watt okay so what is your p out your p out is basically equal to pn minus the summation of all losses. So we start with PN, then we have all these losses until we reach to P out. These losses are two categories. It is cover losses, which is basically the I square R loss, and the rotational losses, which is basically the friction plus the core or the iron or the magnetic, all same thing, which is are the hysteresis and the eddy current losses. Okay, so first you need to find PN. What is the input power for this motor? Very straightforward. It is V terminal times IA, which is 1110 volt times 20 amps, and this will give us 2200 watt. This is your input power. Cover losses, basically it is, we have only one current basically, so which is I A squared times R shunt plus R A, so it is the 20 amp square times the summation of these two resistors, 0.05 plus 0.1, and this will give me 60 watt. This is how much losses in the winding. So then your P out, will equal to PN, which is 2,200, minus the cover loss, which is 60, minus the rotational loss, which is 50, and this will give us 2,090 watt, which is equal to 2,090 divided by 746 to convert from watt to horsepower, and this is approximately 2.8 horsepower. So this is the first requirement. The second, we want to find the developed torque. Okay, so basically, B developed is equal to torque developed or D times omega. If I want to find the output torque, then it will be P out, torque out times omega. So it depends which torque I'm looking for. Since the question asks for the developed torque, I will be using this formula. So I need to find the power developed, not the P out. And I will find it in three different ways. So the first one, A, the P developed is basically your PN minus the cover loss. So it's equal to 2,200 minus the 60, and this will give me 2,140 watt. This is one way. The second way for P developed, is equal to P out plus the P rotational loss, which is equal to 2090 plus 50, which is also 2140 watt. Number three, PD is also equal to EB, back EMF times IA. We know IA, I need to find EB. What is EB? EB, one KVL we have here is equal to VT minus IA 
times R shunt plus R A. We have all the values, 1, 1, 10 minus 20 times 0 0.05 plus 0 0.1. And this will give me a voltage equal to 107. So from this, 107 times 20, and this will give me 2140. So whatever method you use, all of them are correct. Now, so in this question, we have access to all the information. But in many other questions, you will have access usually to only one information, meaning that you can find the developed power using only one of these methods. Not all of them, but this question, we have the ability to solve for B developed using all different methods. So now the torque developed would equal to the P developed divided by omega, which is equal to 2140 divided by omega, which is 2 pi over 60 times the speed, which is the 800. And this will give me 225.54 newton newton meter